Hello, Namaste. I am Dhananjay, your English teacher. How are you doing all? I hope you are doing excellent. How is your health? How is your studies? Have you read that text that I have taught you earlier? You should be reading, you should be enjoying. That's the beauty of English language. Here I am back with all the beautiful concept that is going to be so enjoyable learning for all of you. Let's begin the English class today. Dear kids, ah, what's there on the screen? Monkey and the crocodile. I think you have heard this story in your mother tongue. The story of monkey and the crocodile. What's the story? Let me begin. I would like to tell you a story. I want you to enjoy this story and just it's gonna be started right now. You can see on the pictures once upon a time there was a monkey which used to live on the tree and the tree was on a river bank. The tree was full of delicious mouth-watering kind of fruits. It used to eat lot of fruits until it is full. But in the lake, in the river, there was a crocodile. Crocodile seeing a monkey eating lot of delicious fruits, it too felt to eat one or two fruits. Crocodile came near to the shore and requested the monkey to be a friend of him. The monkey being good and very broad hearted accepted the friendship and started giving the fruits. You know what happened? Every day this routine continued. Every day the, the crocodile used to come to the bank of the river wish and greet the monkey and the monkey used to greet back and throw some beautiful delicious tasty fruits and this continued for a couple of days one day the crocodile requested the monkey to give more fruits so that it can go back to its home share the fruits with his wife the crocodile collected lot of fruits juicy fruits and went amidst of the river where it went to the home and shared the fruit to its wife. What did it say? Hey dear wife, I have a friend. I have a friend who is a monkey, he lives on the bank of a river. He used to give me all these beautiful and tastiest fruits. And here I have brought some for you. Eating all of them, the wife was so excited and happy. But there was a wicked thinking a bad thinking came in the mind of wife. Wife said to his husband, Oh dear husband, if fruits given by monkey are so sweet, then the heart of the monkey must be the sweetest. I want the heart of the monkey because it is going to be the tastiest and the sweetest. You go and bring him, bring his heart. I want to eat the heart of monkey. So hearing this, crocodile became very nervous because how can he cheat? How can he kill his own friend who has been giving lot of fruits every single day? But the crocodile was helpless. He could not convince his wife. Unwillingly, he went to the bank as usual the next day. And monkey was not aware of all these incidents and episodes. Monkey again gave lot of fruits. But this time, the crocodile made a drama. It played a drama. He said, Oh my dear monkey, my wife is so fond of you. She wants to give you a lunch. She wants to offer a food to you. She is so 
kind, she is so good, she is so helpful, she wants to thank you because of your fruits every day. Believing this, crocodile shed the tears, made a drama. Believing this, monkey asked, said to the crocodile, Oh dear crocodile, I don't know how to swim in the water, I cannot swim. Then the crocodile said, you just come and sit on my back, I will take you home, we will have lunch, I will drop you back. Believing the story, innocent monkey jumped on the back of the crocodile. They went and when the crocodile was in the middle of the river, it said, I am very sorry monkey, I have cheated upon you, my wife wanted to eat you. So now I am going to down in the depth of the water so that she can eat you. Hearing this, wise monkey suddenly made a plan. It said, oh crocodile, you should have told me earlier that she wants my heart. I have kept my heart on the branch of a tree. Please drive me back so that I can take my heart back and offer to her. Believing this, the dull and very idiot crocodile turned around and went back to the seashore and um, river bank. Suddenly, when the bank was nearing, the monkey jumped and went on the branch of a tree and said, You are not a friend. You are a cheater. I trusted you, but you tried to kill me. Now onwards, no more fruits. Students, you must have heard this story in Canada or any mother tongue that you have. So similarly, we have one more interesting lesson in a textbook. The 8th chapter in your English textbook, The Monkey and the Trees. Let's go. But before that, there is a joke. What is a joke? Read it on the screen. What is there? Lazy Zach found a work of planting wheat and earned a lot of money. But lost it while returning home. Mother, being angry, asked him to put anything received safely in his pocket. The next day, the farmer gave Jack the butter instead of money. Jack put the Jack remembered his mother words and kept the butter in his pocket. Imagine how his mother reaction. What do you think Jack was foolish? Have you ever done such silly mistakes? If so, when did they happen and why did they happen? So what is the story about? There was a boy called Jack. He used to work in a field. And after working, the landowner used to give him some money. He used to keep the money in pocket. But one time, Jack lost his income, his money. So obviously, mother was very, very angry on him. And she said, keep the money, keep anything that you have received, that you receive, safely in the pocket. The next day, the landowner, instead of giving money, he gave the butter. This boy, Jack, remembered his mother's words and kept all the butter in his pocket. And all the butter must have dampened, made the pant wet. This is a kind of fun. Let's go ahead. Dear kids, before I begin the chapter of 8th class, 8th chapter, final chapter, I want all of you to know the word meanings that are there in the text. Look at that. Match the following words to their meaning. Parade, sit still, pull up, day off. What is the meaning of parade? At least on 26th January, 15th of August, you, you may have uh, paraded in NCC or NSS, March past, exactly. The meaning of parade is a ceremony in which people march together in front of people who are watching them. That is the meaning. Sit still. Sitting, sitting still means what? Without any movement. Like this. Statue. Pull up. What is the meaning of pull up? It is... Uh, to remove something out of its usual place. And the final word, day off, that means leave. Day off means leave. Sunday is a holiday. But any day you don't come to school, you take a leave for any other reasons. And that is called day off. Let's go ahead. Okay, now I am going to tell you the interesting story, how it begins. There was a king... There was a king who was very famous. He wanted to arrange a parade in his kingdom. And he wanted every single citizen of his kingdom 
to see his spirit to his his presence and what he did you know he gave a day off to everyone he gave holiday to everyone nobody was really forced to work that day every day every single person in that kingdom got a day off day off means free to see they don't have to work that day they were so happy and excited look at that point all people set to see a parade because the king declared that the people have a day off but you know but the gardener the gardener who was working in the king's garden he had no day off he had to work as usual he was little upset because he knew everyone in the kingdom has got a day off they could see the parade of the king they can enjoy they can celebrate they can have fun they can have entertainment but all this was impossible for the gardener because gardener was not given a day off how can i go with my friends he was thinking how can i go with my friends everybody is going to see the parade but how can i go with friends this was the question look at this picture the gardener is thinking thinking and thinking at a length did he get the answer no 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 but finally his mind was flashed he got an idea within oh i can go out with a plan what is the plan hmm i will get the monkeys to water the plants for me he says what does he say my duty is to water the garden my duty is to water the plants everybody is going to watch the parade of the king everybody is going to enjoy i am not going to enjoy but that should not stop me i am going to hand over my duty to somebody else somebody else will be doing my work who is going to do that is look at that i will get the monkeys to water the plants for me he in his garden there were monkeys lot of monkeys he had a lot lot of members of monkeys roaming in his garden they were making noise you know monkeys you must have seen lot of monkeys in your place too right okay they are very mischief they are very noisy they are very destructive monkeys now especially in tourist place you must have seen them disturbing the tourists picking or uh, plundering food items or whatever they want to yeah they are actually very mischief sometimes your teacher must have told you monkey <laughs> that's because of love that's because of care let's all go what happens next the now the gardener decided at any cost he wants to go to see the parade see the procession and wants to be the part of celebration and the plan is what he wants to hand over his duty of gardening to monkeys what are the points he requested the monkeys to water the plants he called up the monkeys and he had a conversation oh dear monkeys on one day tomorrow is a parade day instead of me you have to water the plants the big one happily accepted the big monkey the leader monkey the captain monkey happily accepted and uh, before that before going the gardener gave instructions to big monkey water in the evening water enough but not too much water in the evening water enough water not too much this is what he says then what happens let's see monkeys are in action now monkeys monkeys got the green signal they have got the permission from the gardener they can go to the garden they have to do the work which is assigned sarvanash sarvanash means what total annihilation total destruction the captain monkey instructed its team members the little one asked how shall we know when each tree has enough good question for that he says more water to long roots less water to short roots more water to long roots less water to short roots so all the monkeys pulled all the new trees because the big one has said it they removed every tree and saw if it is a long root more water if it is a short root less water that's how they destructed everything 
Water less water to short roots. The gardener had a very good time with his friends that day. That day gardener had a fantastic time. He enjoyed like anything and he came back. The next day the farmer went to the went to thank the monkeys. The very next day he came back to garden for his duty. He wanted to thank the monkeys but he found shocking scenes. He was totally shocked, astonished, surprised because everything is changed. The big monkey had asked all his team members to see the root, the length of the root, more water for long roots, less water for short roots. They have removed every single plant and destroyed the entire beauty, entered the garden. So now the next day gardener came up, came back to his duties. He was welcomed with a destructive, totally upset and very sad scene was there. Okay, then what to do? Dear kids, I think you all have come to know what is the story about. The story is very simple. There was, let me tell you a story in simple words. There was a famous king in the kingdom and he wanted to give a day off to all his citizens. He declared a day off to all his citizens. Everyone was happy. But there was one person who was unhappy because he could not go to the parade. And who was he? The gardener. Because he had to do the duties in the garden. He was not free. He thought and thought and thought. What happened? Suddenly a flash of idea came in his mind. And he said, he decided that he would call all the monkeys and communicate to them that they have to take care of the garden for a day. Immediately who accepted? The big monkey said, yes, I am ready. Let me do the duty of yours. You can go and enjoy the day. The gardener was so happy. And before going, he instructed. Water in the evening, water enough, and water to all the plants. Saying these three instructions, the gardener went to see the parade like any other members. He enjoyed, he rejoiced, he had lot of fun with his friends. He totally forgot about the garden and the monkeys. The next day, big monkey called up a meeting. He instructed each and every single monkey. But before that, a small monkey asked a question. How shall we know whether the water is enough or not? And for that question, the big monkey says, Long roots need more water. Short roots need less water. To know whether the roots are long or short, what is the strategy, what is the plan? That entire group of monkeys disconnected the roots from the earth, removed, uprooted the roots of the plants and saw the size, the length, they went on watering. For the longer roots, they gave more water. For the shorter roots, they gave less water. This way, the entire beautiful garden, well-maintained garden, suddenly became very pathetic, became very dirty and it was destroyed. That day, the, the gardener had a fantastic time. When he came back, he could not believe his eyes. He could not believe the scene because the beautiful garden has turned out to be very saddening. Entire beautiful plants of flowers, plants of trees of fruits were all destructed. He was so unhappy. So what is the fun in the story? Could you, do you think that monkeys could understand whatever is said to them? Yes, they have just made their entertainment and made their fun, but gardener is in the very tight spot. Dear students, I think you have understood the story. Uh, the story is very funny. Did, did you enjoy the story? I think yes, you must have enjoyed the story. The story is beautiful. The story has given us a lot of laughter. We all laugh because just imagine the mischief of the monkeys. How they must have gone to the entire garden. How they must have uprooted everything. Oh my God, they must, they also have had fun.
but this was not something okay with the gardener. But if this a lesson is understood, we will go to the questions and answers of this lesson. Yes. Hmm. What is this? Dear students, now it's time to get some assignments. But before assignments, there are some questions. What are the questions? Let us see, one by one. The question number one is, why were the people given a day off by their king? What is the question? Why were the people given a day off by their king? This is something I have discussed with you in the beginning of the lesson. The king of that particular place announced, declared a day off, a leave, a holiday to his subjects, to his citizens, to his people. Why did he declare a holiday? Yes, come on, tell me the answer. Exactly. The answer is, the king wanted all his subjects, all his citizens to witness, to see his parade, his procession, his grandeur, his dignity, his majesty, all these things were to be watched and uh, appreciated by the people of his kingdom. That's why he declared a holiday. Is that a correct answer? Yes. Then let's go for the next question. What is the next question? What prevented the gardener from going to the parade? When all the people of the kingdom could go to see, when all the entire population could watch the parade, the procession of the king, why was not the gardener allowed? Why didn't the gardener could go and see it? What is the reason? Can anybody answer? Exactly. The answer is simple. The gardener was actually working in the kingdom. The gardener was actually working in the palace where the king lived. So gardener was not allowed to go. His duty was to keep the garden tidy, to keep the garden looking beautiful because at any moment the king would come and see it. So having so much of responsibility, the gardener was unfortunately not given opportunity to visit, to see the procession. So he was not allowed to go. Then, what would have happened to him? Next question. Whose help did he plan to take? What is the question? Whose help did the garden plan to take? He was thinking and thinking at length. He never wanted to miss an opportunity to present and see the procession or the parade. He never wanted to miss. He wanted to have fun with his friends. He just uh, would la wanted to go and enjoy with his friends and the procession. But somewhere in his heart he was very sad because he was not given a day off. But did this stop him? No. He thought a plan. But the plan went flop. That is a different case. But he wanted to have some kind of plan so that he can be relieved. What plan did he do? He asked all the monkeys. He asked all the monkeys to water the garden, to water the plants, so that he can be relieved, he can go and enjoy. Was that successful at the end? That we will discuss later. But now, let's go for the next question. What were the gardener's instructions to water the trees? He gave three important uh, instructions. Uh, the, the instructions given by the gardener to the monkeys were water enough, water in the evening, and water continuously. So this was the case. Hence, we can see lot of things. And uh, look at this. The answer is here. What were the three important instructions given to the monkeys? Water in the evening, water enough, but not too much. A medium type of water supply is perfect. So these three instructions were given by the gardener to the monkeys. Then let's go to the next question. What is the next question? How did the big monkey instruct the little monkey to water the trees? When this was all going on, 
when the gardener instructing all the monkeys how to water the garden and he went off to see the parade later monkeys were ready they wanted to do the duty assigned by the gardener but there was a little monkey it asked a question what question did he ask how did uh, uh, how did the monkey instruct the little monkey to water the trees the little monkey asked it was not uh, it didn't listen it didn't know how to water so the little monkey went to the big monkey and asked how to water the plants how to water the uh, trees then what is the answer what is the answer the answer is this the big monkey answered the little one more water for longer roots more water for long roots less water for short roots it's very funny right it's very funny because this instruction actually destroyed the entire garden which was properly taken care by our gardener but the little monkey asked a question and the big monkey had to answer so what is the answer how did the big monkey instruct the little monkey to water the trees the big monkey instructed the little monkey to water the trees in such a way that long roots to be given more water short roots to be given less water this was the instruction or this was the answer to the question asked by the little monkey okay fine the last one what sight greeted the garden the next morning what sight sight means scene situation what situation greeted the garden gardener in the next morning so the gardener had a fantastic time he had fun entertainment he finally his wish was permitted he could uh, do whatever he wanted but the next day when he came back to do his duties in the garden what did he see can anybody answer can any any one of you can answer the question think a while yes it was so upset he was very 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 sad because he never thought that he will be seeing this kind of situation he never imagined he never dreamt he was so sad the small the beautiful garden which he took which he cared which he actually maintained is now totally de destroyed destroyed by the monkeys somewhere ch children do you think that he is actually responsible for this somewhat yes because did he not instruct the monkeys to do they wouldn't have done this because it was it was it was his own plan now he has to accept the results finally i think all the questions and answers are being discussed here the entire lesson is being understood i want to you to read the lesson again and again and have the fun of reading and the answers already i have given for the questions if any questions are there the lesson is easy the lesson is simple you can get the answers from your for yourselves but i am going to leave you with certain assignments and homework let us see what are the assignments dear students now it's time to get some assignments so after my class when you are free at home i want really you to do all the things that i'm going to give you now so please look at the screen what are the assignments of today use the following words in your own sentences use all these words in your own sentences i have given you the meaning for example parade if i want to use all these words in my own sentences i have attended the parade in the 26th march next one sit still my daughter sit sat still when i have asked her to do so pull up day off all these words you will have to use in your own sentence the last one the gardener next day found his garden being destroyed if you were the gardener what would you do with the monkeys if you yourself is the gardener what would you have done would you mind to punish them would you realize your mistake if you are the gardener if yourself is the gardener when you have gone back to the garden when you see everything is being destroyed do you get angry do you want to punish the monkeys or you realize that was it that it was your own mistake to give the assignment to the monkeys that's it today's class english class i am your english teacher dhananjay 
I shall meet you again in the next episode. Till that, take care, read, do the homework. Take care. Bye-bye. Anudina, Anukshana, Maniyellu Kaliyona, Kalikeya Hosahadiyali, Jyote Goodi Hecheya Hakona, Santa Kadi Kaliyona, Tamma Hemmi Ayi Klasinali. Yes, sir. Yes, teacher. That's it, ma'am.